No. All right. Um, so I still can't write. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know what to what do. What do I do? <laughs> um, stop chat participants. Can you write, Dex? Uh, I know I'm clicking on it. I, where, where would I write? When I um, at the very top where it says you're sharing screen. Oh. Grant sharing options. So uh, on here. Does it say like view options or something? Let's see. F gallery. Where is it at? Are we both like the same host level? If that makes sense. Oh. No, because only one person can be host, but I can make it to where two people can simultaneously share. Okay, I so I don't need to share. I just need to write on his screen. remote control. Is it remote control? No, it's white or I forget what they call it, like whiteboard or something. Um, maybe Dex stop sharing your screen and then reshare it now that I'm host. Okay, hold on. I don't, I don't know if that's going to change anything. But. Right. I can also try to make Dex host. Oh, yeah. Try. Is he not host? No, he's co host. But Tam, isn't it usually under your Zoom? No, it's usually under his. Oh. Tammany, make him the host. You have to do it. So by his little name in the participants, there'll be a more with an arrow. Click on the more and it should say make host. Hey oh, there you go, Dex. Now stop share, or I don't know. What do we got here? Um, <clears throat> Even when I click Tam, it doesn't let me do. Doesn't let you? do i wonder if that's only a one-on-one -on -one thing so dex at the bottom where it says share screen with the green the green button that says share screen oh hold on a minute i gotta put that over here this one which one so it says you're sharing this green button here stop share we can't yeah. see that i don't see it dex i'm sorry oh, but yeah do stop share up share. Okay. Okay. So now go back to that green button and the little arrow next to it. Um, Click on the little arrow and there should be a whiteboard selection. Let's see. No, I don't need the whiteboard. I need to write on his share screen. Yeah, that's sharing a whiteboard. Click share screen located. Click whiteboard. Click share screen. No, no, no. Like I need to see his internet oh. browser and I need to write on it. <laughs> Markup or whatever it's called. Yeah. So right now, there's my share screen. Yeah, and we're just going to have to do it verbally. OK, we'll figure it out. Yeah. All right. So for those of you who are joining us, this is typically what happens with us. <laughs> <laughs> we try to figure it out on the fly. <laughs> Mostly, I try to figure it out. And if I didn't have Tammany here, I would just walk away and go forget it because I would get frustrated. But anyway, uh, see a few people are joining us. I'll give it just a couple of more minutes. Do you guys more. happen to want to try it one more time since we have like three more minutes? Okay. What do you want to do? Just, I don't know how we would, because usually it's Dexter's. They're, sorry? They're annotation tools, right? Yes. That's, okay. Yes. That's what I need. So you, it, there's just three steps. You just tap the pencil icon to hide annotation tools. Tap the more the tools, post controls. More. And then you tap the meeting setting for these annotation settings under the content share section. That's all it says. All I got for you. If not. <laughs> <clears throat> You guys, it's so good to see people since the office is closed. 
<laughs> I'm like, oh, look, there's Ian and Myra, Shoreen. <laughs> Okay. I haven't seen Nas in forever. Who's that? I don't know. I don't know who Keller Williams is. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hi. Good morning. It's raining. No. It's beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. So I just put a link in the chat if you like to have a cheat sheet. I put all the steps that we're going to go through on there. And then I also linked Dexter's templates and all the things that we're going to talk about are in that document. So you want to make sure you have that open okay. so you can follow along. So I was thinking, Dex, <clears throat> maybe we do go step by step, and after each step, we pause and ask for questions. Sure. If anybody has any questions? Sounds like a plan for me. Cool. So, well, again, good morning, everyone. Um, Tammany and I get together twice a week so that I can do my social media, which, of course, is very important these days to be on some type of social media. Uh, I try to keep things simple myself and just relate to one or two things. And basically, we've been using um, Facebook and um, what else? Um, TikTok. <laughs> Instagram Sorry. and TikTok. Yeah, Instagram. <laughs> so I don't normally, I'm not on these things all the time, but I see where people are and it's important to have a presence there. So uh, Tammany helps me tremendously <laughs> in doing that. So, uh, but I started out, I'm going to go to here, with Fidelity National Home Warranty. And I started uh, using this years ago. Um, if, you'll, if you go to Yvonne Nelson or contact Yvonne Nelson, uh, she can set you up. This is a free tool. And it has a lot of really good features to it. But I've logged in. And if you go to marketing tools, you can personalize your information. This is where you set up uh, all your information, your contact information, any additional things like your logo, your picture, um, you know, additional things that you might want to add. Once you've done that, then you can go to marketing documents. And here's where you'll find various documents that are, again, free to use. Um, and, you know, we tap into some of this information from time to time as well. And sometimes I will have this information available for uh, some of my clients as well. But you click on newsletter and scroll down and you generate a document. So once you've generated that document, you can open it up and there's your newsletter. And uh, again, this comes out every month, usually around the 21st of the preceding month. And we, uh, I used to hand deliver this email in my farm. Uh, I recommend that if wherever you live, you should pick out about a four by four block radius uh, and just concentrate on delivering this newsletter uh, to your neighborhood. Uh, over time, uh, you become sort of a neighborhood resource for people and one of the things that we found out and which we utilize in the postcard, uh, people would actually stop me and ask, when's the next newsletter coming out? Because I really like the menu. <laughs> like, aha, uh <-huh>, okay. <laughs> That's, there, there you go. And what I also liked about this is that it was helpful information for people. In other words, it was just things you'd want to do around your home. It wasn't saying, hey, you know, I'm a real estate agent, you know, or are you interested in buying or selling a home? It wasn't saying, doing it. It was providing information and 
providing useful information for them. And again, one of the big deals was the, the uh, recipe. So again, I hand delivered this for quite a while until um, now with our command, we have a lot more features that I can utilize. And uh, one of them is being able to put the email in an electronic format and using command to post it out as well as um, developing a postcard, which uh, Sam and I have worked on for a couple of months and now have down to a template that we can quickly utilize, cut and paste and do things. So um, people have asked me, how do you do this? How do you do that? And that's why we're here today. Uh, so. Uh, one, one sec, Dex, can you make Desiree co-host? Desiree. Let's see here. Um, Desiree. Charlie's um, working on that. I'm going to put the cheat sheet link one more time in the chat. Um, sorry? Where's Desiree? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> so I need to. Uh, Click on the three dots over right. her face. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, uh, let's see. We want to make a co-host. Uh, perfect. There we go. Yes. All right. Perfect. All right. So, yeah. Um, as I said, you know, get your newsletter. It's uh, it's free, and, and there's other marketing information there for you. So now, let's see. Where do we want to start here, Tammany? We want to go to Canva. Uh, correct. We want to go to Canva. And the template that we're going to open, the link is in the cheat sheet I just put in the chat. So you're welcome to click on that and get your own template in your own Canva account. So we probably find your December one decks and we'll just make a copy to yeah. do January. It should be at the very top. The We've got the, oh yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Down. It should be the uh, December newsletter. There, there you go. Yeah. Perfect. So three dots make a copy. Oh, that's okay. Go oh. to file top left. After it downloads here. Okay. And make a copy very bottom. All right. From here, we're going to go ahead and just copy paste everything. So you have the downloaded uh, newsletter open, correct? Correct. It's uh, right here, just to show people. But I have two screens, which when you're doing this, it is really helpful to have two yeah. screens. It makes a huge difference. <laughs> it makes a big difference. Uh, because that way you can just literally cut and paste and, and not have to go back and forth a lot. So. Let's see, we want to make this a little bit larger. Oops, not that large. But as you can see, this is the same information that was on the newsletter. Um, we, again, in building our template, you know, we put this, we built this. So all we have to do is literally cut the and paste the articles. Um, so let's see, let's do this. Let me. Do you want me to work on the second page like we usually do? Yeah, okay. we've got this down to where uh, we can do simultaneous uh, work on the, and so I can be working on one page and she can work on another. Um, I will need you to share it with me though. So the very top where it says share. Ba, ba, ba. Info, I-N-F-O. There you go. And sent. Perfect. Okay. So let me start cutting and pasting. Okay. That's interesting. What's up? Now I was... Uh, 
thought I could do the whole article, but it's only doing parts of it at a time. That's okay. Are you looking at the PDF? Yeah. Okay. So I'm looking at the PDF. It's only letting me do like a section at a time. You know, sometimes. Oh, get out of the editing version. You just want the PDF, not the editable. Okay. Dexter, Tammany, can I ask a question? It's Francine. Absolutely. Hey, girl. Okay. So where are these templates coming from that are on the left-hand side of the Canvas screen? Uh, those are, hang on, let me open Zoom. Those are embedded in Canva. Canva has a bajillion templates you can choose and, from. And are you paying for Canva on this account? Dex I does have Pro. Yeah. Okay. But and they Dex have templates in the free version as well. Oh, they do? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. You're welcome. So, no, absolutely, so, jump in. Let me get out of this. And uh, so... Yeah, download that again. Hey, Dexter, Tammany, it's Joy. Um, Hello. Hey, um, the templates on Canva, because I have Canva, is that just a newsletter template? Is that what you're pulling from? We made this one, and it's literally just like a long picture. <laughs> uh, the size is six inches width and 15 inches height. Okay. And it, and if you want this template, it's in oh, the yeah. cheat sheet that we Set. put in okay. the chat. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Control C. Are you good to go, Dexter? You need help? Marwai ke time. Marwai ke time to tum achha rata. Desiree, can you mute whoever that is, please? Oh, achha dekhna. So it was Control Shift A, right? Control C, Control Shift V. Double click, Control A. Yeah, yeah. Uh, control A, that's what we're gonna... Control Shift V. V. All right. So, again, this is why Tammany is here to <laughs> me, because <laughs> I would be lost. Okay. So, when I uh copy and paste over here you do have to make a few adjustments like you have to uh, create the spacing that the other the original are offered but it doesn't take a lot of time to do that yeah this is probably the most tedious step but once this yeah. is done you're good to go and this is the advantage of the template is of course it just makes it so much easier to uh <clears throat> just cut and paste, which will save you a lot of time. Uh, yeah, so that fit in there nicely. Okay, so let's do the second column. Get in there. So let's see. About a third of the way done with the second page. Oh, made it bold. I wonder what happened there. Okay, so let's. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, so, boom. Do this. Dexter, so you send this once every month? Yes. Uh, the newsletter comes, uh, as I said, it will come in your email from Fidelity every month, usually around the 21st of the month. So I will get the February uh, newsletter around the 21st of this month, January. And so he he sends it like four different ways, and those are the different ways that we're going to go through. Um, the one that we're currently working on is the email version. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. What's our article resolutions? Ooh. 
<laughs> three resolutions to make your home in 2022, for your home in 2022. So let's do that. Copy that. Everything going good on page one? So far, <laughs> I'll let you know if I have a problem. <laughs> Okay. Canva also helps you to uh, line things up appropriately, which is cool. Oh, so now I got a, um, one of the other tools we use is Snippet so that I can take the picture that we have for the new newsletter. <clears throat> this one, okay. So, no. <clears throat> Doing okay? Yeah, so far. So uh, let's see. So I'm going to put this over here, right? Oops, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, get rid of the, drag that over just a little bit and hit edit undo. Is there an undo under edit? So, no. No, you might have to redo Good, it. Yeah. yeah. If you just click on that little, um, if you click on the eraser at the top, that should work. Oh uh, yeah, try that. Try the eraser there. And just erase your mark. There you go. There you go. Then hit copy. So the two, um, right next to save, it's like two little papers. Yep, right, uh, to, the right, to 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 the right, down there, there. And then go back to Canva. Yep. Control V. And then you'll have to drag it up. There it is. All right, I'm good to go on page two. Hold on, let me get this up here. Okay. Really slow today. Uh, You're fine. You're doing great. Yeah, here we go. All right. Cancel that. So now we got the uh, snippet two. Close that. Yes. Okay. All right. So Dexter, I'm not, I'm not sure if you had already mentioned this or not, so I apologize, but like, where are you getting the articles from and the pictures that you're using for the magazine? Uh, we're getting these from Fidelity Home Warranty. Um, if you contact Yvonne Nelson 
Uh, she can set you up and they will provide every month a newsletter as well as other marketing materials that are all free. And um, this is what we're using to cut and paste into the template that we've built in Canva. So I think we're pretty much done now. Hey, check out page two, make sure you like the formatting I did. Yeah. <clears throat> It's time. So as you can see, we've pretty much captured everything uh, that was on the, actually we captured everything that was on the newsletter, which I'll show you. Oops. No. So that's the newsletter, all the information there. And there's the electronic version we've created. All right, good to go. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and download as PNG. PNG, good, download. <clears throat> Once that downloads, we're gonna open it up in downloads and extract it. Downloads, and then single click on January newsletter, very bottom, yep, the yeah. fourth one, yep, and then right click on it and extract all. Where is that? There you go, and extract. All right, now we're gonna jump over to MailChimp. I'm sorry, you broke up on me there. But we were jump, gonna... over, jump over to MailChimp, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, go back. Oh, uh, logged you out. Uh oh. <laughs> no problem. Dexter is the only person I know who will like refuses to save logins on his computer, which I think is awesome. But at the same time, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old school. What a guy. <laughs> he has his like <laughs> list of all of his passwords. <laughs> I do too. What's wrong with that? I'm old school. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. I just don't know how you do it. <laughs> well, it's the only way we know how. <laughs> I have one too. I'm right there with you guys. I have a book of passwords. Okay, fine. Hey, the young person. Thank you. Know what? I have a <laughs> that all, I okay. in. I'm We're sorry, all. but Dexter's passwords are like 20 characters long and it's like capital lowercase, capital lowercase, like ex exclamation point. <laughs> but it'll be a challenging to hack me. It <laughs> You would you would have to yeah you'd have keep, to really get in there. <laughs> it would be challenging to hack me. So we're gonna get into campaigns, right? Yes, campaigns. And to... um, Anne just sent a, a a message in the chat. You do have to contact Yvonne to get access to the Fidelity dashboard. Yeah, that is the only way. But I mean, literally, it'll you get in touch with her, and she is. Uh, available. She'll be back in her office Monday, but she's pretty responsive even when she's on vacation. But just wait until Monday because she's on vacation. Yeah. She's awesome. And okay. So, so we're going to go down to December. Nope. Go down to December. Hold on one sec. Another spam risk. Everybody. You need to silence that thing. That thing goes off all the time. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. Where am I going to? Scroll down. Yeah. So um, you need to move your cursor to the right. Scroll down. There you go. Um, okay. Scroll up to December. There. Right. Okay. Drop down. Duplicate or replicate. Mm -hmm. Can you exit out of that blue bar on the bottom just to give us a little bit more room? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, go to subject. Hit edit subject. Change that to uh, what is it? Uh, uh, three resolutions to make your home in two thousand. Yeah. 
So that would go into preview text. So this would be subject would be a January newsletter, right? Correct. And then change it to 2022. Okay. And then scroll down just a tad. That's where you're going to put your headline. It's going to be three. I'll make four your home. Yep. And two. Okay. Yep. Save. Save this. Okay. Scroll uh, edit design. What's going you on? might need to scroll down just a tad and then hit it there. Try again. There we go. Perfect. Can you exit out of those bubbles somehow? Oh, they went away. Never mind. Yeah. Slow computer today. Hmm. <laughs> Is this your laptop? Yeah, you know. And again, I've got like 15 tabs open now. <laughs> and all, everything. Um, okay, so change December newsletter to January newsletter. And then I put a, a sample email of this in the cheat sheet. So if you want to see what this ends up looking like, you can click on there. All right, scroll down. Save, close. And Yvonne's email is in the cheat sheet as well. Scroll down, keep going. Somehow I moved this for some reason. What happened? Okay, never mind. Okay, uh, okay. there you go. Click on the first one. And then, yep, click there. Click okay. and then go to replace. Where's replace? Right there. And then upload. Come on. Okay. Downloads. Click on the one without the zip. That would be this one. Yep, double click. And then just do them both at the same time. Right. Yep, open. Click the first one. Does it matter the size of the newsletter? Yeah, we, we've messed with it because we don't want it to be blurry. Um, the template one that I provided, that's the one we've found that works the best, but you can obviously mess with it and try whatever works for you. Um, so Dex, go ahead and click on the very top left one. Top left. Helen, the instructions on this are in the cheat sheet that I shared at the top of the chat. <clears throat> the one top, top left one, the very first image. This that one? one? Yep, click there. Okay. You're welcome. And then insert top right. Insert. Top right, blue. Okay, and then scroll down. Say that again. Scroll down. Yeah. Click on the second image. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go, replace. Replace. Second one. Yep, insert. Beautiful. Okay. And then everything else should be the same as yeah. usual. Yeah. January download. We added the, uh, just to let you know, we added in here a QR link, which would let you go back to our, my, what was it? it was Your app. My app, right. Mm -hmm. We have a link to the app and then we have a link to like his business page as well. Yes. Yeah. 
So go ahead and hit continue, top right. Okay, everything looks good. So you can, we usually schedule this because we usually do this in advance. Right. So we usually schedule this to go out like on the 30th or 31st. But can but we edit the name here? What happened? Yes, yeah, you can edit the name. That's just going to show up what it's going to yeah. show up as in your MailChimp. So I'll know. Yep. This is not a copy. Okay. Good. Save. And then we can just go ahead and send if you are good with it yeah, going out today. Goodness. I'm in the process of scrubbing my database so I can be more efficient here, but send now. So, and by the way, uh, MailChimp is linked through um, command. If, if you haven't set that up, you need to do that. Uh, set up your MailChimp through command so that you can track what's going on. Okay. So newsletters out. Let's go ahead and go back to Canva. Is the MailChimp for free on com and, um, command or we have to pay something? It's a free version um, up until like a certain amount of contacts, but it's plenty sufficient in my 4, opinion. 4,000 contacts, something yeah. like that. It's, it's a pretty large before yeah. you have to start paying for it. So I'm going to close a couple of these canvas here so that we can get a little bit more organized here. Uh, okay. See, we don't need this right now, do we? No. No, so we'll just use the newsletter Canva and the postcard Canva now. Okay. So we've got, this is the... So go ahead and open up monthly postcard. Right. And then we also need the newsletter one open still to copy and paste from. Yeah. This template's also on the cheat sheet if you want the template to the postcard. It's sized correctly for command. Right. Um, just to point out on here again, so what I have used is um, like I just sold a house uh, in Elk Grove. So this is a picture of that house. Uh, I mean, you can use different pictures of different things, but basically the postcard, um, you know, is tries to, again, give you an opportunity to come back to me if you want. Uh, but the back of the postcard, I think it's the most uh, important part, to be honest with you, because it has the recipe and the logic to the postcard is, and people have told me, they may not like every recipe, but the ones that they do do, like they say, which means they're saving my card with my information. So that's, that's smart, Dex. Dex, <laughs> let me ask you something. What Q, where does this QR code lead them to? The one on the back of the postcard, or the front of the postcard. Why don't you take a look? <laughs> oh, well, okay. Oh, I will. <laughs> Except I don't have my phone. <laughs> Just so, tell me. <laughs> okay. It, it depends. Okay. So this particular one, we try not to be too salesy all the time, but this particular one leads to the contact form on his website. Ah. If you scroll down, Dex. Keep yeah. going. One more. Yeah. This one, for example, leads to the URL of the newsletter we just made. Back in October. Back in October. So sometimes it, it just depends on whatever we're advertising on the front that month. I'll be darned. Okay, thank you. And, oh, and then um, you can, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> you can make the QR code right in Canva. And I guess we'll show you as we go through, but. Uh, one of the things I did want to, well, I'll wait till the end and I'll point it out. So. Alrighty. So go ahead and make duplicate page one. Um, it's the little like plus icon. Yeah. That one. And then do it the same for page one. 
then scroll, page, scroll up. Yep, page one, duplicate the same icon. Nope, top. Nope, nope, nope. There you go. Yeah, okay. All right, and then go to page three and click that little up arrow above it. Yep, perfect. Okay, so now these are the two that we're going to edit. What did you want to put on the front this month? Uh, we can do the home on um, that I just did uh, on Chief Court. Okay. So go ahead and um, on the left bar, hit uploads. Upload left bar. All the way to the left. Oh. Yep. Uploads up. There you go. Perfect. Upload media. Purple. And go ahead and find your picture. Okay. Okay. Did we do this one already? I don't think so. Um, I think we did it as an Instagram post, but not right. as a postcard. Yeah, we didn't do it as a postcard. Okay, cool. All right, so you can click and drag. Remember? Do you remember how we did it? We hit it on the side. Go back to, oh, that's okay. Right click on it. Replace background. All the way at the bottom. There you go. Okay. Um, what do you want the headline to be? See, we'll throw it out to participants. What should I say? <laughs> uh, we did sell this one just recently, actually a week and a half ago. Uh, Is this one in your farm? Yes. So in your uh, neighborhood? Yeah. Uh, this is a mid-century modern. So we can we can say um Just sold mid-century modern Natomas. Mid-century modern home sold in your neighborhood. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, all of the homes are mid-century. <laughs> uh, so, oh, by the way, the postcard has replaced me farming, going door to door. So that's the whole idea of the postcard is sort of uh, before I was literally print out the newsletter in the office <clears throat> um, started out in black and white and then uh, went to color. And I would uh, literally just walk up the neighborhood and put it on every door. I have a, a theory of, I actually slipped it in the door. Um, <laughs> Michael Soros, of course, <laughs> You know, they just drop it at the door, which I find um, that's fine. And it's worked for him, obviously, uh, you know, but um, when I stick it in the door and it's just the newsletter, people tend to see it <coughs> more so. And it doesn't blow away or anything because it is just on an eight by 11 sheet of paper. You don't want it blowing around the neighborhood. So hey, Dexter, would, it's Troy. Yeah. Um, on that, I was just thinking, since you live in that neighborhood and that's the farm, why don't you just put just sold in our neighborhood so that they know that you share the same neighborhood with them? Oh, yeah. You're not just, you know, somebody coming outside of the neighborhood, but you're actually in the neighborhood. I like it. Uh, I like it. I will let you know that my neighborhood does know me. <laughs> right. And so that's why I'm saying that, because I know that you've yeah. been farming that for quite some time um, and it just reinforces that you live there. Yeah. And we do have some new people come in. Uh, I like it. Thank you, Joy. Sure. Just sold in our neighborhood. Bingo. We try to keep it simple as well. Um, awesome. So... Do you want to keep the QR code the same? Uh, yeah, let's do it for this one. Okay. Because we are advertising a home versus an article. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and we just need to copy paste the recipe. Right. So let's see here. Oh. 
So now I need to go back over here, grab the recipe. Um, and if you guys are gonna do this using Dexter's template, be very careful not to move anything. Right. Because we have it like just perfect so nothing overlaps when they print the address. <laughs> yeah, and also you don't cut things off. <laughs> yeah, words get cut off very easily. Yeah. <laughs> so that's real important to keep it. Uh, so it's control A, control shift B. Good. Let's see here. Why is it all? Oh, um, so, click, click really quick before you click off of that. Click the three dots. Okay, click back there. Click the three dots on the top. Uh, Sorry, I don't have my, yeah, I don't have my marker. Right. Um, Position? No, do you see the AA, lowercase, yeah. uppercase? Click that. Yeah. I'm wondering why it, click it again. I don't know why it copy paste it. There you go. Know. Okay. Let me click. Right. We don't need that. Okay. So, again, this is where you come in and kind of, uh, like I like Just. to make <laughs> yeah, make some adjustments. Like I like, make this bowl. Um, oh, I know what we did. We made ingredients and directions all caps because you wanted all of it bold because it prints better. Right. Yeah, that's what it was. So go ahead and um, you have ingredients highlighted. So click the three dots again, and then click. Oops. Hold on. Let's try this. Hi uh, first, highlight ingredients. There you go. And then hit the AA button. There we go. Perfect. OK. So. And then you need to copy your directions still. Right. Uh, the directions are split here. So I'll have to be careless. Let's see. We have this part here. Control C. Double click. Yeah, I think I did. Control A, Control Shift V. Then I've got to add the rest. Control C. Then. Control. So again, you uh, can come in and sort of adjust. <clears throat> Looking at your um, newsletter, you can get a feel for where, where your spacing should be. But right now we wanna um, get everything lined up. This makes me want to make no need rosemary bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how many Just people come to you and say, wow, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you're like, oh, OK, thanks. <laughs> the other thing that we do while Dex is working on that, um, and we'll show you after, is we add the article URL to his link in bio on his social media platforms. And then sometimes we'll make an Instagram post with like a picture of the rosemary bread and say, click the link in bio for the recipe. So that's another way that we utilize this information. Why am I seeing something different here? Okay. Hit it twice and then delete. There. 
Then, uh, uh, but, uh, but, uh, uh, I need to go in here and uh, make a couple more adjustments here. Uh, this one and uh, Tammy, what happens if? the recipe that you're using doesn't, the ingredients or directions don't fit in the box that you have um, so meticulously put there for <laughs> printing purposes. That's Do you a good pick question. a different recipe? No, so um, we'll kind of play with the Keller Williams logo. Like sometimes we'll move it to column two, depending okay. on the size of each. Um, the main thing is you don't want to move the text box he's on right now to the right at all. Gotcha. Okay. And then same thing you want to leave like that half inch border on the left as well. You know, I hate to say this, but we did the wrong recipe. Tell me more about that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, you know what it is? We haven't adjusted we haven't the title changed, or the yeah, picture. We haven't changed. So this is I actually think we're okay. okay. <laughs> I got the right one. I, never mind. It's me. Okay. Control <laughs> C. Uh, Control, control B. Okay. There you go. Change the picture. I was like, wait a minute, this isn't right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, blah, blah, blah. Snip. That's another good tool, the snipping tool for cutting uh, pictures. Oops. Um, new one. And one of the things I like to capture on this is giving credit to, <clears throat> so this would be, uh, I do the copy and then control B. Okay. So adjust this a little bit. Click off of it first. There oh, there you go. Good. Okay. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Yeah. Looks good. Uh, and another thing, you can move uh, this around. Sometimes we have some recipes that are a little bit more, uh, have more ingredients and things like that. So again, you can use the picture, you can use uh, the Keller Williams logo, you can make it a little smaller, a little bigger, you can move things around and, uh, you know, uh, but the, the most important thing, you know, something we might look at doing uh, in our template is actually creating a line inside the box to make sure that we stay inside. But uh, as Tammany is. They, yeah, they have a, um, in command, when we get there, I'll show you guys, but they have a template you can download and like set as the background so you can see the borders. Right. But you just don't want to save it with that. Obviously, you want, you want it to be all white. So there's our recipe on our postcard. Okay. So uh, go ahead and hit download top right. And what do you do with page three? We just keep it there so he has it. Download. And then change it instead of all pages, just change it to page one and two. Oh, click it again, check page one and two. Right. Done. You have yeah. to hit done, 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 and then download. Good. 
Okay, once that downloads, we need to open up your downloads folder. Yep, downloads. Okay. Where's my download folder? Hold on. Let me close up some things here on my second screen. Done with that, done with that. Okay, oops, I didn't want to do that. All right. So I want this. Okay. There you go. So click on click once on monthly postcard, and then right click, then, extract all, mm -hmm. extract. Then we need command. So let's do this. Move this out of the way. So now we're gonna go to command. Mm -hmm. That one, perfect. All right, so we are already in campaign, so you're gonna go to create campaign, top right, direct mail, enter campaign name. And Maybe. this is to try advertise listing. No, no, attract listings. Attract listings. There you go. Campaign name, January postcard, 2022. Scroll down, create. Okay, click content. So, uh, upload design. Scroll down. Front browse. Under downloads. Click the one without the zipper. Once it loads, oh, there you go, perfect. Monthly postcard. Nope, the one above it. Oh, that's right. Yep, double click. There you go, first one, front. Open. Good. Same thing for back. Perfect, open. Okay, scroll down, save. Did it load yet? Yep, you're good. Okay. Save. Market <laughs> Center drop down. Scroll up. Market Center. Adjust the address there. For whatever reason, it doesn't save the whole thing. <laughs> oh, the state, yeah. State and zip code. Uh, I don't know why there. I keep putting sweep under the street. Yeah. It must be something in our settings. Yeah. Uh, I think it was in the verify address. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So okay. confirm. Uh, yeah, confirm. Okay. Okay. Targeting. All right. So Dexter likes to mail in one specific localized area. So we're gonna do local targeting and he's gonna put his own address since he farms his own neighborhood. You could also do target my database. That one only works if you have addresses in command in your contacts. Okay, save. Budget should be the same. So you're gonna go to configure targeting. Yes. Exit out of that blue bar on the bottom so we have a little bit more room. <coughs> All right, here's the fun part. <laughs> well, actually, we've gotten pretty good at this yeah, one. Yeah, we have got. You've gotten pretty good at this tool. <laughs> got pretty good. So, what you need to do? Uh, where was it? Uh, so, scroll up just a tad yeah. on. Right, yeah, on this side. And then it's, you need to do uh, the draw or the polygon, sorry. Polygon. But, but make sure you have everything on screen before you hit it. Right, because that's the trick. 
And then, oops. So this, ah, got to do the polygon there. Ah, okay. Oops, I missed them. <laughs> Just finish your polygon, you should be able to adjust it after. Yeah. And I've got these homes here. Okay, and then because there's some mailboxes that have addresses, we did two. Yeah, we moved the bedrooms up to one. I one, believe. yeah. So that filters out anything that's not an actual like residence. Right. Um, but it didn't move. You got to drag that up. It. Yeah, you have to. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So we got everything there. Mm hmm. So uh, that's my farm area. Uh, it's like 200, well, 194 homes. Um, so, and then we'll send a copy, always to send a copy to the office. So, mm -hmm. um, and then hit next. Next. Now this part, I don't know why it takes until this part to do it, but if you scroll yeah. all the way up, Dex, it shows you the preview just to make sure nothing's going to get cut off. So you can see like we've hit it barely. <laughs> so the address doesn't cut off your recipe there. Yeah. Um, I was thinking we have five more minutes. Do you want to show them Linktree and you can enter your credit card details not publicly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So go to MailChimp really quick. Let me see. I want to go back to. Uh, no, you want to leave it here because when we're here, done. Yeah. You're so mail do all that, yeah. Okay, and then go to all campaigns. I have a question. Do you have to polygram everything or it just automatically spins it like that? Say that, Say again? that again. You know when you were drawing um the polygram, the, the little polygon, one? uh -huh. Yeah. Um, do you have to do that or it just when you just select uh form all, it will form it by itself? Like um, you have to set your radius. And if you don't send it, like, if you don't set that, if you just do, like, just target that, it will still send them? I believe what I've done before is you can say, like, when you set your budget, that sets the number of mailers that you want. Right. And right. then you can filter it. So, like, I did one where we filtered it to, like, home 700K plus or something like that. And it, it found those homes around that zip. Got it. Okay. Okay, um, so Dex, scroll down. Okay, under January, you already got 5% open, so look at that. Do your drop down. Drop down arrow, no. <laughs> arrow, arrow, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll go back. No, we don't want to go back, do it. Um, 13 people yeah, have already opened. <laughs> yeah, you can go back. You should be okay if you go back. Okay. <clears throat> Scroll down. Drop down arrow. Uh, view email. And then copy that URL. And then what's our um, title of our article? Uh Three letter solutions to make for your home. Okay, go to link tree, add new link. URL is paste. And then title. Three, what was it? Three resolutions to make for your home, I think. Resolutions. 
make more um, in 2022. Yeah. Change that number sign to three. That would help. <laughs> okay. And then add, add an S after resolution. <clears throat> and then drag that down to monthly newsletters. So grab your three dots on the left and drag. There you go. Perfect. So now that that link in bio, that link tree link is in his Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So that article that we just made is now available on his socials. And if we wanted to, we could do like an Instagram post, like I was saying, to direct traffic there. So in an out, <laughs> you could see, you could get a lot done. It took us a while to get to this point, because I think at first it was taking us an hour just to do the, the first newsletter <laughs> and then another hour to get to the postcard to get it right. But, uh, you know, these templates are available. I recommend that you get in touch with Tammany and perhaps schedule a couple of uh you know, time slots to assist you if you want to use this. And, and some of you, many of you may be way more uh, techy than I am, but, you know, anyway, this is what I do. But I want to add to that. One of the things that we, I did early on was also create a calendar to keep track of, okay, this is what we're doing this week. This is what we're doing next week. And I've added to that a monthly, which says, okay, this month, this is what we're going to focus on. And that sort of helps keep you in track of what you might want to be doing with your social media. So I would just add that uh, component to it is to create a calendar. Basically, again, mine is pretty simple. We get together. I'm going to share it in the chat right now so everyone can see it. But we get together twice a week, Tuesday and Friday, um, and, uh, you know, for an hour. And for me, it's well worth the time uh, because I know, okay, I'm going to get my social media out on Tuesday and Friday. And, you know, if I want to do something else in between that, that's fine. But at least I know I'm getting this out. And it's important to be consistent. That's the main thing that I found in, in real estate is being consistent. You don't have to do a whole lot of things. Pick a couple of things, two or three things, and just be consistent at them. And it'll, over time, uh, it will begin to pay off for you. So any questions out there? Any aha? Uh -huh. I do have a question. The postcards, do you send them every month too? Yes. OK, thank you. Again, all a part of being consistent. And, and it, it's almost to the point where, as I said, uh, in my neighborhood, people will stop me and say, well, when's the next postcard coming? You know, when, you've almost trained them to expect it, you know? <laughs> and literally- Mister, It's Joy. I do have a question about your postcard. Um, you send that, you, mail, you have that mailed through command um, and it just says, to current resident, correct? You don't put their name on it? Right, it just says current resident. Okay. If you target my database and you have their name linked to their address in command, it should populate their name. Yes. Oh, it, okay. It just, see, I, I'm just using the map, so it's just gonna say current residents. It's the same thing as mailers going out from other advertisers. You know. Okay, so even if you have their their contact information linked in your command, because you use the map, it will still say current resident? Correct. Okay. But as she said, uh, which I haven't used is my database. You know, I mean, the mailers, I, I would say is more for, I mean, you could use it for certain contacts that you want to maintain a relationship with, but if you're gonna consistently do it every month, I would just pick a target an area gotcha. and, and just do it that way. Okay. Now you can send out a sec. Here's another thing. You can send out a second mailer. You can do one for- uh, The farm. 
your farm and then you can do one for your database. But, you know, obviously the more people you have it, the more expensive it gets. So, you know, you got to kind of weigh, which is for the neighborhood that I'm doing, it's about $125 a month. Um, Dex, click on the KW tab, the third one, and scroll down. Stephanie, are you doing live, um, like showing this on live? Sorry, one uh, second, Myra. Um, I just wanted to say really quick. So, Dexter, you're doing the the smallest size right now, right? right. We that's, don't. That's okay. So, the, he, there's three size options for the postcard. The smallest one is about sixty four is is sixty four cents each. The medium one, I think, is like seventy five, and then the largest one is like ninety something. Uh, again, looking at the practicality of it, the smaller one is one that you would tend to find more people are going to keep that one. You know, yeah. it's it's uh, manageable. Whereas if you go to the medium size and especially the large size, now you're talking something completely different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Myra. Go ahead. No, I was just asking, like, are you doing live trainings? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we um, were doing a demonstration today because yeah. today is is we would normally be doing this, and I say, well, let's just open it up to the office. Because people have been asking me about how I do this and, you know, how it works. And I say, well, let's, let's just open it up to the office. So it was, it was, today was more of a demonstration. I would say contact Tammany, schedule some time with her. Um, you may want to um, hire her, as I did, to be your social media uh, specialist, um, you know, at least until you feel like you can competent enough and you know, uh, to do it on your own. But I know for myself, <clears throat> and just the fact that I had her, the amount of time that it took us to get everything set up, I never would have done on my own. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way, no how, because it was like, you know, yeah. <laughs> and even here on Tuesday and Friday, you know, I she's here to assist me. It's like, boom, boom, boom. Okay, boom, boom, boom. And we're done. You know, so, but yeah, reach out to Tammany, reach out to Yvonne, uh, rec highly recommend it. Um, it's well worth it. And uh, anybody have any uh, additional things they want to share? Or Thank you for your time okay. today. I am, I'm very, I want to do all of this as well. But my head hurts right now because that was a lot of information. <laughs> That's why I made the cheese. Because sheet. I know the two of you have sat together for months making this work. So thank you for sharing it. Appreciate it. Yeah, this was great. Thank you so much for opening it up, Dexter, and, and for helping with everything, Tammy. I sure appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, uh, it's well worth it. And, you know, I, you want if you're going to use command, this is a very effective way of using command that you know is going to benefit you. You know, but uh, yeah. Cool. Um, Dex, don't forget to enter and finish off the postcard. Okay. Oh yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All that right. Would, that would be nice, huh? This Bye guys. Have a great weekend. Okay. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Uh, have Bye. a good weekend. We'll talk to you later. Boop, 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 boop.